Have you ordered fast food or takeout lately? Most of it probably came all wrapped up or boxed in one form or another. It's what's in some of that packaging that is raising concern. 12 Under Size Marilyn Morris reports there are potentially dangerous chemicals in a lot of your common food wrappers. Before you bite into that burger or sit down to that salad, a warning about the packaging. Consumer Reports tested more than 100 food packaging products from two dozen retailers for so-called forever chemicals, or PFAS. What did they find? We found PFAS in many types of packaging, in packaging from fast food restaurants and from grocery stores. We even found it in packaging from places that say they're moving away from PFAS. In general, PFAS don't break down in the environment, and they've been linked to serious health problems such as increased risk of some cancers, lower immunity, and liver damage. So if PFAS are in the packaging, are they in your food? PFAS can migrate from packaging into food you eat, like that burger wrapped in paper that contains PFAS or that salad in a molded fiber bowl. Research suggests that people who eat takeout regularly may have higher PFAS levels in their blood. Of all of the packaging tested, it's the paper bags that had some of the highest levels of PFAS. The substance is used to make the packaging grease resistant. Besides paper bags, molded fiber bowls and single use plates had the highest PFAS levels. Takeout containers and paper trays had some of the lowest. About half of the products tested had low PFAS levels. In response, some companies stressed that with PFAS so common in the environment, it's nearly impossible to eliminate them. Several are in the process of phasing them out. So what can you do in the meantime? Transfer your takeout food to another surface when you can, and don't reheat it in its packaging. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.